Alright, so here are all the parts for the PC build. This one's coming in at around $650 Canadian, and it includes a Ryzen 3 3200G with the integrated Vega 8 graphics, which we will be using, a Crucial MX500 SSD. I didn't end up going for the NVMe drives, as those are more expensive, and for the purpose of this build, I won't really need it. Also, a Gigabyte B450M motherboard with integrated Wi Fi, the Patriot Viper 8GB DDR4 kit at 3200MHz. The Gigabyte PW400, which isn't the best power supply, but it's cheap and it has 80 plus certified, so should be good. And we also did need a optical drive for this build, so yes, they still do make these. As for the case, we got something from Fractal Design. It is the Focus Eye Mini. And what makes this case a little bit more special is that you can't really buy these. The store owner mentioned they struck a deal with Fractal to sell this case as a standalone since it's only normally available for pre-builds. Even on the box it says for system integration only. So I didn't know if there was going to be any oddities when opening it up, but everything seemed pretty normal. But I did expect something a little bit better from Fractal Design, it's definitely on the lower end. So the quality is not the best. One thing I did notice is the feet on this case are pretty terrible. Um, even just pushing it around with a little bit of force, the thing slides around like nobody's business. What's causing this is the bottom feet don't really have any rubber, it's just a hard plastic. So there's nothing from stopping this thing from moving around. But anyways guys, here is a time lapse of the build and hopefully you enjoy it. Okay, and here is the finished product, and I think it looks really great for what it is. Now the actual purpose for this build is just to print receipts. It's going to be at an office setting, uh, doing some light Photoshop, maybe a little bit of Word and Excel. So not much gaming is going to be going onto it, but you could definitely game on a system like this. With a 3200G, it's a great option for a little bit of mid-range gaming. And uh, as long as you have high frequency memory and uh, anything above 8 gigs should be good enough. So the cable management, uh, there's not really much room and they don't really give you a lot of options so I kind of had to zip tie the cables uh, onto other cables so kind of like anchoring it. It doesn't look the best but you know it works and uh, the side panel was able to close thankfully so not too bad overall. But yeah I really like the way it turned out, let me know what you guys think. But I appreciate you guys checking it out, thank you so much and I'll see you on the next video.